Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher upon Iowa Street. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher upon Iowa Street. Americana writer got no education. I spent him while streaming on a Hawaiian vacation. Unworn white Levi's were MRG underscore them. Until he Set. covered them with GS. coffee and creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G. He's your average teacher, though an idle streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G. He's your average teacher, though an idle streamer. Mr. G, 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 Mr. G, 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 Mr. G, 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 Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa Street. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa Street. Americana writer got no education. I spent him while streaming on a Hawaiian vacation. Unworn white Levi's were covering his femur until he covered them with coffee and creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher, though I'm not a streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher, though I'm not a streamer. Slash, slash, S3, that's drop it off, slash, MRG, underscore, live, slash, G, 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 G,
Mr. G. He's your average teacher, Long Island streamer. He's Mr. G. Mr. G. Mr. G. Mr. G. He's your average teacher, Long Island streamer. Mr. G. 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 Hi, I'm Mr. G. Welcome to my class. I'm in a much better mood than I am yesterday. Public apology uh, to Ashbods uh, for thinking that he um, that he uh, uh, sabotaged the Mr. G song. So I apologize for that. All right. Today is October the twelfth. 2020, it's Thursday, my cats and eat. Today we're gonna to be learning about this great state of Utah. Now, if you excuse me for a second, I have a pizza in the oven. Actually, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, timer will let me know, hey Google, what time is it? The time is 3.05. Okay. Um, I still have like five minutes. Uh, Peach is going crazy. Hold on. Oh, actually, it's the baby <laughs> downstairs. The, the, the neighbors are complaining about the cat going meow. When their baby goes, wah, you know. But anyways, more important things to talk about. Hey Google, uh, play me some uh, Beethoven, please. Sure, play Ludwig van Beethoven on Pandora. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I was a bit upset yesterday, and. Uh, we, uh, I, I lost my temper and uh, I got upset with Ash Mods, who has been uh, helpful uh, for me since I've been live streaming. Ash um, Mods, said, I lived with you not as well for nine months. Well, I, I didn't get that whole of the temper. I watch. Sit. Polly Murray Hyde. Paul Emery? I didn't catch that either. Um, shout out to Lita Cat um, and this wonderful Thanksgiving card. Uh, can you guys believe that it's already um, going to be Thanksgiving? Um, you can this cat's gone after the, the turkey. And also, uh, Lita is supplying uh, Mr. G and the cats with a, a fantastic turkey dinner. So, uh, I guess Thanksgiving, uh, it's Thanksgiving's two weeks from today, class. Google. Hey Google, turn down the volume please. Stream elements. Sit. Thanksgiving is in two weeks. Google. 
HTTP hey Google, colon, slash, slash, turn slash, down the volume, please. Dot com slash MRG underscore live. So uh, Thanksgiving's in two weeks, believe it or not. And uh, last Thanksgiving, uh, I made a turkey dinner for Britain and the stream. And it came out really well. I'm really good at uh, making turkey dinners. That's one of my specialties. Well, look at that. It's annoying. Yeah, we have a bit of school biz now following. All right. Thank you for the follow. And more important, I need to get the pizza. And also more important, uh, it's working now, the uh, subscribers. So thank you. Hold on. Screamelements.com slash MRG underscore live slash bit. I just came in here to show you I burnt my hand hot. Okay, so uh, last year I, I baked a, 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 a roasted, a really great turkey, and um, it's already been a year since then. I still have some of the uh, crushed garlic that uh, Britain bought last Thanksgiving. Um, but this year, um, We'll have a turkey dinner for the cats. Uh, once again, shout out to Lita Cat, uh, who awesomely donated a, enough for a uh, Thanksgiving turkey dinner. And that's going to be uh, two weeks. You guys know how I love to cook. Um, I just took a pizza out of the oven and burnt my hands. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, shout out to Big Block. And uh, in particular, I already apologize to Ash Mods. Uh, Big Block, um, I, uh, I'm sorry I got upset yesterday. Uh, I sincerely apologize, and I appreciate um, everything that you've done for the stream. Uh, I understand if uh, you know you, you don't want to uh, moderate anymore, but uh, you're always welcome here. And it would be a pleasure to have your moderation uh, if, you can, if you're watching now, or if somebody can get this message to you, big block. So, I have a cat named Keanu, and he's very cute. Wow, his name is Keanu. But he's a big boy. But he's not a Hey, Rachel. He loves turkey, too. I just want a turkey, Dana. We're going to eat that turkey food. 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 MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. Hello. Hey, Nico. I'm Colonel. We're going to be not here, Nico. Ah, so Keanu's looking forward to Turkey Day. Uh, that's his favorite holiday. Um, that Thanksgiving was my favorite holiday for some point because, like I said, I really enjoy cooking. But um, while the pizza cools, we'll go and learn a little bit about Utah. This man right here. This is Brigham, this is the state flag of Utah, first off. This is Brigham Young. Uh, he founded Salt Lake City, the largest city in Utah, him and Joseph Smith. And this is a map of Utah. Utah has approximately the same amount of people as its neighboring state, the last one that we went over, the state of Nevada. Hey Peach, you wanna join the class? And this is Peach, and she's in heat. And she's been, um, she's very, very affectionate, man. She's been, uh, she's in heat. Hey, Google, turn off alarm. Oh, I love you too. And we're gonna, uh, she's gonna be taken to the vet. A friend of mine is picking her up in a short Hello, while. Score, Nicotino, three. Sit. She's in heat, really. Yes, Nico, she's uh, totally in heat. Uh, she sprayed all over me in my bed this morning. 
and uh, she's been really loud. She's been trying to get out every chance that she gets. I watch. Sick. Sexy. Mr. Underscore Nicotino Three. Sick. Looking forward for kittens. No, actually. One. Oh, you're sick. so sexy though. Oh, you're yeah. a sexy kitty. No, but seriously, um, uh, there are going to be any kittens because um, she's being taken uh, to the vet tonight, Peach. And she's going to stay the night at my friend's house. And it's going to be scary. I'm sorry, baby. You're going to be taken away from your family for a little while. But you'll be back here tomorrow. It's like, where's my daddy? Where's Moses and Keanu? I love those guys. She's going to be so scared. And there's no way to explain to her. Peach. My friend's going to pick you up and take you over to her house. And then you're going to go to the vet tomorrow and you're going to have surgery. for Nicotino 3. Sit. Oh, is she getting fixed? Yes, she's being picked up tonight. Her surgery is tomorrow morning. And then she's going to be brought back here about 24 hours from now. So poor little Peachy is going to have a try quite the... Uh, day to the quite the next 24 hours she doesn't know what's coming poor little peach she loves her family here she loves moses she loves keanu yeah, uh, one. Sit. have you been fixed mr g good one no i i i am uh i i have not been fixed i still have my uh my uh sex organs Ah, but boy, little Peachy's gonna get a mocha bowl out, because she needs a mocha bowl. Nicotino 3. Sit. Oh, Peaches, good luck at the vet. I know it's hard to separate from your cats. Well, also, you know, uh, Peach is gonna be sad. You know, when, when Moses got fixed, she was very sad afterwards, you know? Like, I remember she was just, like, laying on the cliff, like, looking at the moon after the day after she got fixed, and... I tried to put my arm on her and she's like pulled away. She's like, it, but then the next day she was super, super affectionate. She was like, well, I, I can't have baby kittens anymore, so I'll, I'll just, you know, love you, you know? And uh, Keanu the I same way. Sit. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to a But it has to be done. Want to have a new Po Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. You know, I know um, Alex Trebek just re recently passed away. Um, uh, that was my favorite show, Jeopardy. Uh, but before I watched Jeopardy, when I was even younger than that, I would watch um, Price is Right with Bob Barker. And one thing uh, Bob Barker would always say is, don't forget to have your pets spayed and neutered at the end of every show. And I remember hearing that even when I was a little kid and uh, not even knowing what spayed or neutered was. Um, so, but it is really important, and yeah, of course, everybody loves kittens, but uh, Hawaii has, a, has more homeless kittens and cats than anywhere else in the United States, and it's a huge problem here, and that's why I dedicate uh, my time and money and energy to uh, helping this issue here in Hawaii. Uh, see, there she is crying, you hear her right now. She's looking for a male. Um, like I said, uh, you guys may know I'm, I'm, I'm starting a cat sanctuary here. Um, I'm also uh, starting a nonprofit, uh, which is going with the cat sanctuary. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've done grant writing work before. Um, I wrote grants for a farm in New Mexico uh, so they could build greenhouses. Peach. And so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm, I'm receiving a, uh, a grant to build a farm here uh, for um, what's the, the term that they use was uh, uh, hunger issues. But anyways, uh, during the uh, virus, there's a lot less transportation coming to and from Hawaii. So the United States federal government, they're instituting uh, programs here to promote uh, a small scale farming. Uh, what they want is more people in Hawaii and other areas where, you know, uh, the expense to get food there is really similar. Peach. Sit. Does Peach go next to Moses Keanu or do you separate them? Stream elements. Sit. 
launched a new merch is here. Podchat, check it out. HTTPS colon slash mrg underscore live. What I'm doing is I'm building a, a uh, first, I'm building an off the grid garden cat sanctuary. But I'm also uh, uh, involved in this program, this government program, which is promoting small scale farmers. And what it does is um, it helps you out with supplies and land and this is that and this and that. And you uh, grow fresh organic fruits and vegetables and then you donate a, a good percentage of the por pro, uh, portions, a good percentage of your yield to food insecure communities. That's why they uh, phrased it. And you donate a lot of the fruits and vegetables that you grow, because there's plenty, especially in Hawaii, to uh, poor communities on the west side of the island and maybe on different islands as well. Um, so I'll be growing fresh fruits and vegetables and also donating a, a good portion of them uh, to people that are in most need of fresh fruits and vegetables. At the same time, it's also gonna act as a cat sanctuary because every farm needs cats you know you need always that's how cats domesticated themselves humans started uh, agriculture humans started growing crops and they 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 transitioned from being hunter gatherers uh to being um farmers and they discovered yeah, agriculture Latino three after humans so, discovered agriculture, they had to stay in one spot. Outside, but it's not um, staying in one spot meaning means that they had to collect their rice and grain, and they had to keep vermin, mice and rats away. Uh, the vermin, they noticed, attracted cats, so a bond of friendship was formed. And since that point in human history, cats and humans have been friends. Cats, unlike dogs, decided to domesticate themselves. Dogs were domesticated by humans. That's why dogs look at humans like they're a god. Um, uh, humans took wolves, baby wolves, the nicest wolves, and bred them with other nice wolves. And over you know hundreds of almost uh, thousands, a couple thousands of years actually, we have chihuahuas and bulldogs and great things and this wide variety of animals. So. Unlike cats, they've always domesticated and been on their own. Um, so. MRG underscore living. Sick. GX. So. MR <clears throat> underscore Nicotino 3. Sick. Do people cross breed cats? Hatchmodge. Sick. GX. Thank you, Ashmont. Um, I, I'm pretty sure people can crossbreed cats, um, but the ca house cats that you see around here, um, they're similar to just like some cats that you would see in the wild today that are totally feral, that have never been around any humans at all. Um, the difference between dogs and cats, another difference is cats would continue uh, surviving and, and without humans. Cats don't need humans to survive, whereas dogs do. Um, I know we're talking, the today's class is supposed to be about Utah, and uh, we're talking about uh, cats here, but um, we'll get to Utah in a second. I also want to go grab a slice of pizza, too. Sick. Yes, cats are good hunters. How did we start talking about that, anyways? But, um, somebody asked a question or something like that. However, um, the fact of the matter is that, uh, Yes, I, I like uh, cats a lot. Oh, well, I was talking about the, uh, the, uh, the, the cat problem, how I donate a lot of my time. I guess I was talking about future um, IRL streams and what I'm doing with my uh, life. Uh, I'm starting this cat sanctuary, and uh, I'm going to try to have a, a different apartment in town here, but I'm also going to have a piece of land out in the country uh, with this uh, government um, program that I'm in. And I'm going to have a farm, and the majority of food and fruits and vegetables that I grow uh, is going to be donated to food insecure communities. And also, I'll have a place to, uh, and people will have a place to rescue uh, different CATs around the island. And uh, yeah, and I still plan on doing this school as well. So, but that's what we're doing in the future now. And right now, I'm going to grab a slice of pizza. And so, you guys uh, just hold on one sec. You know, just Sit. 
brackets colon slash slash merkh dot s stream elements dot com slash mrg underscore live. Send Mr. G. Moses and Keanu packages to 1170 New Wanu Avenue, Po Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii 96823. MBANKS 231 is now following. All right, sorry about that, guys. Normally, I don't, uh, you know, eat with the class here, but just a little hungry. So, we're talking about this. I have this awesome garden that I've already started here in the classroom. Can you scoot over? Can I sit there for a second? This is Costco pepperoni pizza with Parmesan cheese. Mr. underscore Nicotino 3 said, what have you planted in your garden? Well, you want to see? Well, mm -hmm. no, 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 mm -hmm. no. Let me show you real quick. This is just my backyard garden. Hail timer, you right? Okay. These are uh, beets, cabbage, basil, thyme, oregano, green beans, yellow beans. More tomato plants. Radishes, corn, um, Brussels sprouts. This is just what I've started in like the okra. Pretty cool, huh? A lot healthier than that pepperoni pizza I'm eating. All for a very, very little uh, cost, so. It's very inexpensive to make that. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Alright, looks like the cats had other things to do, so I can eat the pizza here. Hey Google, tell us about Utah. According to Wikipedia, Utah is a state in the western hey, United States. Volume 10. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Said, Wow, that's amazing. Are you going to relocate the plants for me? Uh, I'm going to keep a bunch here. I think I'll keep about 50 to 100 here in pots, in big pots. 
And then certain things grow better outside. Certain things grow better at higher altitudes. Certain things grow better on, on a lanai, on a porch, and compared to in the ground. So Some things are going to move uh, that you need a lot of soil for, like corn and carrots uh, and potatoes, sweet potatoes. You need a lot of soil for those things. Um, so uh, those things I plan on having on the outdoor garden. And then continue with about at least a hundred plants here. So there's going to be plenty of radishes, tomatoes, peppers, all, like I said, produced, produced with very little cost. All organic too. Once you learn that skill of being able to grow fruits and vegetables, it's very helpful. Regardless of whatever income level you're at. Uh, about the state of Utah. According to Wikipedia, Utah is a state hey, of Western United States. Volume 10. Hey Google. Tell me about the state of Utah. According to Wikipedia, Utah is a state in the Western United States. It is bordered by Colorado to the east, Wyoming to the northeast, Idaho to the north, Arizona to the south, and Nevada to the west. So five states. It also touches a quarter of New Mexico in the southeast. Six. Hey Google, turn the music off. So one thing that Utah is known for is its national parks, its national monuments, and um, its national forests. It has more uh, public land than any other state with the exception of its neighbor, the state that we learned about yesterday, Nevada. So, hey Google, name, how many national parks are in Utah? Five national parks. The five Here's national a summary parks. from the website tracks-trails.com. There are five national parks in Utah and another 11 national monuments. Zion, Bryce Canyon, Canyonland, not three. Clash. Who else can name the remaining two national parks that Mr. G can uh, Zion National Park, been there. Arches National Park, been there. Well, Zion National Park. I decided not to go there. We drove by and we were like, eh, let's go to Vegas. So we didn't actually go there. Me and the guy Jazz. That's in my second book. Class. You may have it being scammed. Sir, there's a good Ken Burns documentary about the national park system called America's Best Idea. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good documentary. I used to like Ken Burns, but um, PBS went so far to the left that I really don't, I don't watch anything on PBS anymore. That used to be the only thing that I watch. But PBS has just went so far left. I'll still watch some programs. Kim Burns I still like. But, hmm. Canyonlands is right by Bryce National Park. On my original YouTube channel in class, there were many videos of Mr. G climbing, rock climbing, yes, me, in Bryce Canyon, in Canyon Lands National Park. Videos of me driving by Zion National Park. These places that I'm teaching about right now, I've been there. I've been to these places. I documented these places. All these places were documented on my original YouTube channel, which I still plan on getting back or unless suing the motherfuckers involved with it being taken down.
So I named four out of five. Zion, uh, Bryce, Canyon, Canyon Lands. So Bryce Canyon and Canyon Lands, they're right next to each other and they have similar sounding names. Uh, there's one more that I don't know. Hey Google, what are the uh, national parks in the state of Utah? You've got several choices. Bryce Canyon National Park, Capitol Reef National Park, and Canyonlands National Park. I've sent these to your phone. Thanks. Well, I didn't, I, I didn't hear that other one. Anyway. So Utah is known for their national parks. Um, they also have a lot of national monuments and national forests as well. This picture is damn good. I'm going to grab me a couple other slices. That piece is so delicious. I'm fixing to eat a whole large pizza. Can you believe that? Oh shit. Where did they go? They better not have ran out of it. Hold on, let me check. Hold on a second, I can't find Peach. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Peaches. Sick. Is JR swinging by later? Peach. Oh, that scared me. Fuck. I thought she had gotten out. I'm sorry, Nico. What was your question? I was worried about Peach. Hatchmodge. Sif. What happened to your other account, Nico? Me and JR got in a bit of a disagreement. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sif. Twitch blocked my other account. Interesting. So Utah only has about 3 million people. Hey Google, how many people live in Utah? In 2019, the population of Utah was 3,205,958. So about, about 3 million. There's only one professional sports team in the state of Utah, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm not usually. Sif, you were working the chat too hard. Hey Google, how many professional sports teams are in the state of Utah? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. <sighs> the Utah Jazz basketball team, they're the only basketball team other than the Miami Heat that doesn't end in an S. And that, with honor of Alex Trebek, rest in peace, was the final Jeopardy question to a, a Jeopardy, Nicotino final Jeopardy answer once. Sif, yeah, Riff, I just, I need to slow down on Twitch sometimes. I forget I'm on Twitch and I just, they watch what I'm doing. Same here. So, the state bird of Utah 
is the California Gulf. Why the California Gulf? Great story. Great story. Um, I first heard this story from the director of Magnolia. Have you guys seen that movie? That's actually my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies. And I hate movies. But I kind of like that one. Why were we talking about Magnolia? Hmm. The 1848 Miracle. I could say, you can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170 Iwanu Avenue, Pro Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. Okay, I got it right this time. So I'm pretty good. We're talking about the state of Utah and the Utah state bird, which is the California seagull. No. I think it's the 1848 miracle. Either way, it's around that time. It might have been the 1849 miracle or the 1850 miracle. That's not the point. The 1848 miracle. R underscore Nicotino 3 said Surprised no one's here Nessa big block MRSJ the Miramiad they are always here I just they might come later So yes Nico hopefully they uh, show up We have a wonderful lesson today So the 1848 miracle and how this is related to the state bird of Utah which is the California Gulf So the state bird of Utah the California Gulf bird, which is an ocean bird, right? So now what, what, what I'll do is I'll tell the story from how I know it. And uh, then we'll look up the actual story so that, and, and see the discrepancies from my person. So the 1848 miracle, or it could be the 1849 miracle or something around that time. The 1848 miracle was when um, Utah was first being settled. It, it, had, it was not a state. And um, Utah is a pretty barren land. It's, uh, it does have water. It has Salt Lake. Uh, salt, salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake, is the largest saltwater lake in the Northern Hemisphere. That I know, right? But anyways, we're not talking about that. But um, it was a pretty barren land, and there weren't any uh, people there. And so the first settlers in the uh, 1840s, uh, which were uh, Mormons, missionaries, uh, they got there during uh, the start of winter. And they only had a few months left in the growing season. So they, um, they thought they were going to starve to death, just like the uh, people at Donner Pass over there in uh, you know, northern Nevada, California border. Over there in the Sierra Nevadas, but uh, in the Donner Party, but so they thought that they were going to starve to death, right? Uh, but miraculous, miraculously, the crops that they planted, just like the crops that I have planted, uh, grew, and they were able to get through that first winter. Um, however, after their crops uh, were on the thing, they, they they got a little greedy, and instead of harvesting the crops, because once you harvest the crops, it doesn't fruit as much as much. Right? So when you're harvesting lettuce, you cut off the top of the lettuce, right? But if you let it grow, you get bigger lettuce, right? And so they uh, didn't harvest the crops. And then all of a sudden, uh, uh, all these massive crickets just attacked their, the, all their farms in Utah. Uh, the first settlers in Salt Lake City, Utah. And they, they just attacked all the farms. And Salt Lake City is the capital, too. So, and it's only capital in the United States that's three words, Salt Lake City. But that's not... That's does that have anything to do with this? The miracle of 1848. So these these first settlers of Utah, they grow the the crops miraculously. The crops survive the winter, and then into the spring, all of a sudden these crickets just come. An army of crickets, and, or it may have been locusts. I think it was crickets. They just come and they just eat all the crops away. And this was verified. 
and the, they, they just start eating up all their, their food that they're going to survive on for the, uh, for the next six months or whatever. And then all of a sudden, miraculously, uh, the California seagull birds, uh, an army of them, like thousands, tens of thousands of these California seagull birds, which are coast birds, which are beach birds, they somehow flew thousands of miles for whatever reason they knew that there was going to be an army of crickets that they could feast on. So first, thousands of tens of hundreds of thousands of crickets, millions even, billions even. They, they, the crickets come on the crops and just eat up everything. And then like everybody's like, oh my God. And they start praying. They're like, oh dear. Blah, 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 blah. And then as the prayers come in, all of a sudden these California seagull birds just come up and just start eating up all the crickets. Like, rah, 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 rah. And then so uh, that's, why, <laughs> that's why the state bird of... Utah is the California Gulf bird. Now, that's the story as, as I remember it told. So, you know, maybe I had a few things off, uh, but we can go ahead and, uh, you know, look for further uh, documentation, uh, documentation uh, for, um, from the Google speaker here. So let's see if uh, Google Nest knows anything about the 1848 miracle. And I hope it doesn't say anything about the fucking hockey game or some shit. Uh, hey, Google. Uh, what was the 1848 miracle? According to Wikipedia, the miracle of the Gulls is an 1848 event often credited by Latter-day Saints for saving the Mormon pioneers' second harvest in the Salt Lake Valley. Okay, well, uh, there you have it. Um, it's the miracle of the Gulls. But I was right on the date, on the year. Let me put the actual name. Are you guys paying attention? Huh? Thirsty Thursday? You guys looking forward to going home and drinking alcohol or something? Mm -hmm. <sighs> they don't pay me enough to do it. The miracle of Ash Lodge. That's it. GX. The goals. Goals is what the G in GX stands for. Goals X. So that's the miracle of the goals. We'll, we'll read the actual uh, Wikipedia. I'll, I'll read the first couple paragraphs from it just to see if I was wrong about anything else. So yeah, it's just me today, class. There's no uh, second uh, teacher today. Uh, he has the uh, day off and maybe the week off and maybe the freaking rest of the year. I don't know. Uh, JR, uh, Mr. JR is gonna be off. Um, he's not gonna be teaching uh, at least for the next couple of days. Right. Miracle of the... Says, Miracle English Teacher BTW. Shut the hell up, smartass. You know, spelling is so overrated. But now you upset me, huh? That's it. Come on. Hello, hello. Peach, come in here. He's just like, can I ask? <laughs> All right. Miracle of the Goals. The Miracle of the Goals is an 1848 event often credited by Latter-day Saints, Mormons, uh, for saving the Mormon pioneers in the Salt Lake Valley. Excuse me. While absent in contemporary accounts, later accounts claimed seagulls miraculously saved the 1948 crops by eating thousands of insects. So it's not specific on the insects that were devouring their fields. The first crop was planted in 1847, a few days after they entered the valley, which was very late in the growing season and produced a meager but usable harvest. Next spring, using seed from the first harvest, 
They planted their second crop, only to watch in dismay as the crickets attacked. Less than two years earlier, in October 1846, many of them were saved by quail that flew into the camp. So the quail protected them and as well as the, uh, the, uh, the other ones. So that's an interesting story. I mean, uh, you guys got to admit, uh, the state of Utah, it's a landlocked state. It's the furthest away from any uh, ocean. Sir, your cat is trying to steal pizza. No, she wants uh, she wants something else besides pizza. Okay, so that was the miracle of the gulls. Now, you would think that a uh, what the, the uh, there's a bird on the flag. We're gonna go over the flag. Peach, come on! Oh shit, I do need to answer that phone. Come on. She's so heavy. You are so beautiful to me. Oh, like I'm ready to Okay, I'm such a too young. Take a big big shot tomorrow. She gonna be good. You gonna be okay. 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 They gonna take good care. Yes. You gonna have to move us. Yeah, you yeah, people. Hey guys, my name is Peach. I'm in heat. Oh, you don't know what it's like. I need something else. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. Peach is meow meow. <sighs> Alright, Peach, you want to stay here? You're being way too long. Right. So, that was the miracle of the goals, what we were learning about there, which is a very important and interesting part of the history of Utah. Um, you know, the Latter day Saints, the you know, Mormons, they have a significant role in Utah. Um, I researched before the class that MR underscore Nicotino. Uh, Mormons actually make up two thirds of Utah's do you residents. Next to Moses and Kiyamu, or do you keep them apart? No, they all stay together. They're 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 very loving with each other. Uh, that's why, like, I'm I'm kind of worried about her because I know she loves her her siblings. You know, she loves her and Kiyamu are like this. You know, and uh, all three of them hang out together and like. You know, like, and she always puts her arms around them. She's like, I got you guys, you know. Old timer just hangs out on the outskirts. I was talking to uh, Lee the cat on the phone. I was telling her about this. Uh, old timer generally hangs out around the outskirts, and uh, you know, but these three are like three peas in a pod, literally. You know, but uh, but anyways, so I'm I'm worried about her because she's gonna be like, Where's my family? She's never been taken away. You're so big. I can't believe you're so big. You want your tiny little girl, John. Now you're big up. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Sit. Y M A T H E R. S3 is now following. You're so cool. You're so cool. I love you so much. She's going to be like, Why are you taking me away from my family? I love these things. She's going to be, Where's Moses? Where's Carol? Where's Mr. G? It's going to be okay. You'll be back here tomorrow. She's gonna be so relieved to see me tomorrow, though. She's like, like it. Sit. Help Mr. G with the donation through Stream Elements. HTTPS colon slash 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 MRG underscore live slash tip. 
Like I can't underscore it. Explain to me. Said, old timer is like I want to come into. Well, old timer, he just hangs around the outskirts. He's like, I'm just happy to be here. Poor little Peach. She's gonna be so scared because she loves her, you know, family, you know, and she's gonna think that her family was taken away. And there's no way I can explain to her that she's just being taken to, you know, the vet. Like, she doesn't speak English, you know. That's why I'm trying to explain to her now. Like, hey, I'm not giving you up, baby. She's she's gonna think that I gave her away. I'm not giving you away. I'm never giving. MR underscore Nicotino 3 said, Are you gonna be with Peaches along the way? No, I'm not. Professor underscore Boomerang said, Howdy, y'all. I'm not gonna be with her at all. She's gonna be by herself. And she's gonna stay the night at another person's house. So she's gonna not only be, she's gonna be away for over 24 hours. And this is all the only family that she's known and so she's gonna be away from us for 24 hours and there's no way to explain to her that, hey, it's gonna be okay because you're gonna get your surgery and then you're gonna come right back here, baby. MR yeah. underscore Nicotino 3 said, wow. Yeah, there's the, it, but this is the most efficient way, that, you know, because it's really hard, especially with COVID and everything, you know? Like, you have to go through a lot of procedures. They're really strict in Hawaii. Uh, I yeah. Said, you can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170 New Wanham Avenue, PO Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. Professor underscore Boomerang said, what, what, what? Hey, Boomerang. G1 said, have you ever seen Yingling again since the Britain incident? No, I haven't, not since that day. Oh. Hey, where's my divider stick to girl? Ooh, ooh, you're such a yay. Ooh, ooh. She's so sweet. Uh, she's gonna be so scared. She's like, where's my daddy? Where's Moses? I can't run like that in a family. MR underscore Nicotino 3 said, So quiet when you holding peaches once you put her down, she me out. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. That's been the case the last two nights. Mm. So, I mean, this has to be done. And like I said, you know, if I if, if I tried doing it another way, then it would take a long time, months-wise. There's a huge waiting list. So the best way to do it is to let my friend uh, take Peach for the night. And she'll stay, Peach will stay the night at my friend's house. And then my friend who uh, works at the... Uh, uh, works at a veterinary office. She will take her in to work in the morning, so she's an expert at this okay, kind of thing. Sit. All kidding. So I mean, you, you, I, I'm lucky to have this, up, you know. But, but, Peach is gonna be scared, and there's no way I can explain to her. I'm not gonna give you away, Peach. I would never give you away. I'm always there for you. I never give you away. She's going to think that, though. She's going to be like, he abandoned me. I never, I never abandoned you. I want to explain to you. I'm just giving you away for one night. One night. Just one night. She's so underscore Nicotino 3 said, yes, cats are very emotional. And I'm the only human that she's ever cared about. Said, what's tonight's topic? Stream Elements said, The new merch is here, Pachamp, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot streamelements.com slash MRG underscore live. We're learning about the great state of Utah. Um, I just got done talking about the miracle of uh, 1848, um, which has to do with the California goal, which is the state bird of Utah. Um, right now, uh, we're going to go over the flag of Utah, which I just put conveniently on the uh, screen. But also, I will talk about briefly here. 
So, this is the flag of Utah. As you can see, they were admitted to statehood um, rather late, 1896. It's a Mormon state. Yes, it's the Mormon state. Um, it's estimated that 71% of Utah's residents are actually Mormon. Um, that's about two-thirds. Um, of course, it's the home of Brigham Young University, uh, the largest Mormon school in the United States, uh, home to at least 30,000 students, last I checked. Uh, but uh, right now we're going over the flag here, so, uh, you know, no more in interruptions here. Um, class, uh, what can you tell me about this flag? Now, there's a bird. Uh, that actually is not a California gull, which you might expect because from the last story about the 1848 miracle, the California gull miracle. That's actually a, a bald eagle. Uh, Utah... Uh, petitioned itself for statehood for a very long time. Uh, the population of Utah has always been really small. Uh, so previously, before 1896, it was known as Utah Territory. Um, in the designing of the flag, they were... Peach. Peach. Peach isn't a fan of Utah. So... Uh, when they were designing the flag, they really wanted to promote itself as some a state that would uh, add to the union. Uh, right in the middle, we have a beehive with the word industry over it. No, it's a beehive. Uh, Utah is known as the beehive state. And above the word beehive, we have the word industry. So let me go ahead and explain that for you guys real quick. And Mr. D. Moses and the audio packages to 1170, we want to have a new PO Box 37305. So, Utah is known as the Beehive State. This goes with what we were talking about um, earlier about the miracle of 1848 and the first settlers in the state of Utah. Uh, Utah's neighbor to the west is Nevada. And whereas Nevada um, has always been a very libertarian state, uh, you know, legalized gambling, legalized prostitution, uh, legalized drinking even, its neighbor to the east, Utah, has always been a very conservative state. I'm not talking about modern politics either. Conservative as far as drinking, smoking, gambling, that's always been a no-no. Uh, people of Utah, they've always been known as hard workers and busybodies. Uh, when they first arrived there, like I said, there was nothing there. Uh, there weren't any settlements, and they had to build everything from scratch. Uh, that work ethic is uh, instilled into their nature and into the Mormon ideology. Professor uh, underscore so that's why you get the beehive on said. the state flag. Uh, Mormons are known as the beehive state. No, excuse me. Professor underscore boomerang. Utah is known as Seven. Utah is known as the Beehive MR, State. Do you ever hear of Mad Hunter? Mr underscore Nicotino three. Mad. Seth. Honey. So does Utah get snow? Sorry, I have to ask this every state. Yes, Utah gets some of the best snow and best skiing in the United States. Um, Moab, Utah, is a really popular area, uh, popular uh, for mountain biking, snow skiing, snowboarding. And that's also where you will find Arches National Park and also Canyonlands National Park. I've been to Moab, Utah, but I actually haven't been. Uh, I've only been to the southern part of Utah. I haven't been uh, to Salt Lake City. Uh, but I have been uh, to Reno, uh, which is near Utah Green as elements. well. Set. Let me show you the map. The new merch is here. Pop champ, check it out. So Utah, um, you actually do have really high mountain peaks um, compared to with its neighbors. Um, you're at the really uh, the the uh, the high point of the uh, Rocky Mountains. So in the state of Utah, you have Delano Peak, which is twelve thousand feet, and you have Kings Peak, which is up in the northwest corner. And that's the highest point of Utah at 13,528 feet. Um, as you can see in the top left, we have the Great Salt Lake. And like I said, the Great Salt Lake right here, uh, this is the largest uh, 
Salt Lake in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, so you can see how big it is. The uh, major cities in Utah are Provo, Salt Lake City, uh, St. George down here at the bottom left corner, and I already mentioned uh, Moab. Um, there are a lot of other towns around Utah, unlike the state of Nevada, which we learned about yesterday, which has two major metropolitan areas, uh, Reno and Carson, which 95% of the state lives. Uh, the state of Utah is more spread out. Um, like I said, the population of the whole state of Utah is 3.2 million. Its biggest city is Salt Lake City. Uh, hey Google, what's the population of Salt Lake City? In 2018, the population of Salt Lake City, Utah, was 200,591. So like I said, that's a small city. Um, 200,000 people, very small. Uh, especially considering there's 3 point something million people that live in the entire state. 200,000 uh, of 3 million, that is, uh, that's like 5, 10%. So whereas 90% uh, of the state of Nevada lives in the Las Vegas metropolitan area, and the state that we learned about before that, Arizona, where the majority of the state lives in the Phoenix, Arizona, Maricopa County area, uh, as far as uh, Utah, it's much more spread out, where its biggest city only has 200,000 people. So that's pretty interesting. Nevada is a crazy place I never knew until yesterday's stream. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's what's fun about these. Uh, we were learning about different states and different uh, areas, and that's a fun, fun thing. Um, you know, like I said, uh, statistics are really important. A lot of times, you know, people hear numbers, and they're this, it goes one ear and out the other. Uh, but when you actually think about it, and you put the percentages, like 90% of the people live in, the, in, live in Nevada live, 95% either live in Reno, or Las Vegas, 95% of the whole state, you know? And uh, as far as the elections go, both both states have six electoral votes, both Nevada and both Utah, but they couldn't be more different on uh, uh, their uh, culture and the environment and the way that their states are set up as well. Um, but we're not talking about politics, uh, and we're not talking about Nevada either, we're talking about Utah. And uh, that's that's really interesting. Nicotino underscore Nicotino three said, "We look underscore SG." But one, oh, Mrs. J, are you here? But one thing is for certain, and uh, they both have about the same amount of people: Nevada and Utah. However, Nevada, all their people live in two cities. Utah, they're spread out throughout the entire state. Uh, they both have a lot of uh, public lands. But Nevada has a lot more desert. Utah, as you can see on the map here, they have a lot more water. Granite. Uh, they have the largest salt lake water, you know. Uh, but they also have Lake Powell in southern Utah. And then they have the Strawberry Reserve on the northwest corner. And then you have Provo, Utah, where there's also a huge lake. And here's another lake that I'm not familiar with. So it's called Severe Lake. So unlike Nevada, Utah does have actual uh, bodies of water. Right. Oh, the beehive state. We were going over the flag, too. Well, we have, we did go over the flag. Somebody asked why there was a beehive on the flag. Uh, then, you know, I talked about uh, how Utah is it's incorporated into its history and its culture. They're known to be very uh, industrious. They're very, uh, they're very good workers. Uh, they generally have large families and everybody uh, generally you know, works really hard there. That's what they're known as. And so that's why they're the beehive state. Uh, because, you know, busy as a bee, if you've heard that expression, or a worker bee, uh, he's a good, uh, you know, busy as a bee means you have a lot on your plate. Uh, industrious as a bee. You know, bees are very industrious. They get to work. Uh, Professor underscore boomerang said, My favorite fact about Nevada is that ash moths grow a very decadent Thanksgiving. <laughs> good one. Good one. So, unlike uh, Nevada, which is a very libertarian state, uh, Utah, like I said, is very uh, uh, structured and reformed with strict laws on alcohol and uh, gambling, of course. And like I said, 70% plus of the population is 
consider themselves a part of the Church of the Latter Day Saints. Uh, the Church of Latter Day Saints it's uh, it's a it's a it's a medium sized religion of like maybe ten to twenty million people, fifteen million people, um, but the majority of them live in Utah. Like about well, not majority of them, I guess, but a lot of them live. As far as the fly goes, we'll finish covering this real quick. So, the flag of Utah. Utah was admitted as a state in 1896. Um, the bald eagle is right there. We have the beehive right here, because they're, they're known as worker bees. But also, we have this word here. What is this word here, class? Can everybody see this word over the beehive? What does this say? This says industry to all you illiterate viewers. Now, why does the flag say industry? Well, uh, you know, Utah, they're the busy bee state, and they're known to be very industrious. Um, also, the word industry is the state motto of Utah. Now, you might ask, industry? How the fuck is that a motto? That's one word. How can one word be a motto? Professor underscore boomerang said, definitely a top tier flag. You think, boomerang? Well... Well, the word industry kind of throws people off. I like the, uh, the state flower. Those are really nice. Those are uh, California gold flowers, which are actually uh, similar to the California gold bird from the gold miracle that we learned about a few minutes ago. But um, the word industry, if you look in Webster's Dictionary, you know, there's not a, a picture of a smokestack in a building with smoke coming out of it. No, that's not industry. Industry is their state motto. Uh, because the original word for industry is hard work. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> is burp. Now, the original word for industry in the dictionary is hard work. So if somebody's very industrious, they know how to work hard. Uh, so industry isn't referring to, um, you know, businesses and uh, manufacturing. It's referring to being industrious. Granted, uh, this is from uh, the 1800s. Uh, there was industries in the 1800s, but uh, when you thought of industry, it was more um, being industrious. Hey, PG, oh, sweet soft, you're gonna be a little scared tonight, and tomorrow morning we'll you'll be back and you'll be safe and sound, okay? I'll never give you away. You ready to the world? I'll always come back here, okay? You're just gonna go on a little trip. Look, she's climbing up me. I'll never give you away, Pete. Show us. Omar underscore Nicotino three said, "Subscribe to Mr. G Sidekick HTT. Hey, thanks, Nico. Slash slash you do dot b e slash z r o p a z e n k t m. Thanks, Nico. If you guys aren't subscribed to my second channel, I upload on there every day." 8K videos, um, you know, so you can see more of Peach here and uh, other different uh, different parts of my life as well. So, poor little Peachy. We're going to have a little bit more class time, and then I'm going to have to get ready uh, for Peach's appointment, Peach's big date. So, Utah is known as the Beehive State. Uh, we're going over the flag here. Now, it doesn't have the 1848 miracle on there, and it doesn't even have the California Gulf word, but it does have the state flower, which is right over here. You guys see this white flower? This is the seagull lily. Now, these flowers, if I'm not mistaken, they only grow in uh, Gulf areas and uh, popular among the Gulf seagulls. So the flowers don't actually grow in Utah if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it's a reference to the 1948 miracle. Now, you can see the year 1847 
on here. And you're like, hey, wasn't the miracle in 1848? But yes, it was. However, they first arrived in Utah in 1847. And as we learned in the Wikipedia article, they, uh, they, they had a successful first harvest. The miracle what didn't happen until 1848. Peach. Are you stuck? Let me take it. Peach, you gotta stop. You got a big day coming. Aww. MR underscore Nicotino brief. Said. Peaches wants to teach. Okay, so. I want to use a So. We learned about uh, Utah. This guy right here. We'll learn more about him next time. Next time we'll dedicate more to individuals like this man. Uh, this is Brigham Young. He's a liar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, Brigham Young, we'll learn about him. He, he, he has a, a few interesting uh, stories to say. But, um, uh, you know, Peach is uh, really wanting uh, my attention. And I have to uh, make sure that uh, everything will boomerang. This yeah. handles good. She wants to teach us cartography. Good one. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Peach, don't jump on the computer. Fuck. Peaches. Millions of peaches. Peaches, fuck, man. You're so loving. She's so, like, Better smooth right now. She's like, wow. Chorography asterisk. She's so loving right now. She's like, wow. She's so affectionate. She's just purring. She's like, wow. Said, you can send Mr. G. Moses on How can anybody remain in a kitty kid? MR underscore Nicotino three. Said, did you give her catnip? No, she's in heat. <laughs> oh, she's about to rub the uh, so the Mevo camera. She's about to rub it off. Oh, peaches, you're so sweet, just... So, we learned a decent amount about Utah today. We learned about the flag. Uh, we learned about the state flower, the uh, miracle of 1848. Um, the state bird, why it's a California bird that doesn't even uh, live in Utah. Peach, come on. Um, but also, uh, you know, there's a lot of other things about Utah that we're, uh, we'll go over. We'll spend another uh, day or two. Another class. We'll spend one more class tomorrow. We'll, uh, I might do a show and tell, or just we'll just learn more about Utah. Um, but like I said, uh, it has a lot of history uh, with religion and the Mormon Church. Seventy-one percent of the country is Mormon. Um, but there are a lot of good things about Utah as far as uh, it has one of the lowest crime rates in the United States. Professor uh, underscore boomerang said, "Why so silent, lurkers?" Well, it has a, a low employment rate. Um, like overall, uh, if, uh, it has uh, quality education, you know, good schools. Uh, the property values are good and it has low taxes. Um, if you have a place to raise a family, I mean, I haven't looked into it, but I imagine Utah must be high up on that list. Uh, it, it seems like it has a lot of top schools, Brigham Young University. Yeah. Is a top school. Mr. G with an uh, ancient through screen Utah State is a H top ranked school, as well as the slash University slash of Utah. Go Utes! Um, with a state population of only three million and having three huge universities, each school with about thirty thousand students, that says a lot uh, compared to their neighbors next door. Which you know we're not beating on screen Nevada, levels. but. Uh, Nevada is a good uh, comparison. The new uh, Nevada has Champions one major out. school. HTTP Excuse me. No, Nevada, Nevada has two schools. Nevada has the University of Reno. And then the which is U University of Nevada, and then they have uh, UNLV. So, but still, those schools are very uh, much lower ranked than the University of Brigham Young or Utah State. So, uh, UNLV is one of the lowest ranked schools as far as academics. No offense, rebels, but 
you know, people that go to yeah, Las Vegas for college, they don't generally so, go there for academics. Stay up to date with news on HTTPS colon slash slash Discord app dot com slash invite slash Jim BRQB. Thanks. I appreciate that, Nico. Yeah, I just started up with the Discord again, so uh, if you guys want to uh, keep up to date on everything, that's the place to do it. Hey, Google, play some outro music. Playing Al Jarreau on Pandora. Hey Google, volume five. So, uh, how long have we been on this stream? Because I try to keep them uh, at least an hour, uh, but not longer than two hours. I know we haven't been on for two hours, but I'm pretty sure we've been on for over an hour. Um, Dream elements. Yeah, we've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. MR underscore Nicotino 3. Hey, Google. MRG underscore Volume 3. Streaming for one hour and 21 minutes. Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, like I said, uh, Utah, it's a really, uh, as far as the states go, we've only done three states so far, but Utah, in my opinion, uh, takes the cake. <laughs> I tried to think of a funny pun there, but I couldn't in time. Um, so uh, Utah has low crime rates, low unemployment, low taxes, uh, high family values. There is the whole Mormon thing. Uh, and if you can get get over the Mormon things, because they do believe some crazy uh, bullshit. Professor underscore boomerang. Right? No offense, but still, Mormons are some of the nicest, safest people that you'll ever meet. They just have like absurd beliefs. They basically, they, they, I'm not going to go into, well, we'll go into that next class, I guess. Um, I have some crazy religious beliefs yeah, as well. Uh, generally, we uh, here in the GX community, um, we generally, we pray to uh, either Christ or alien, you know, whichever God wants to send. So, I think there's more evidence, uh, there's just as much evidence um, as aliens as there is for Christ. There's strong evidence for both, actually. Um, Peach, come on, you can't be doing this right now. Professor underscore boomerang. Hey, Google. Yeah, it's basically new game. Volume two. So, um, yeah, I really enjoy Utah. Um, if you're conservative and if you're uh, wholesome uh, and if you're not a criminal, then Utah is the place to be. You know, the 1848 miracle. I mentioned because uh, it's a very religious uh, state. Uh, like I said, 70% of the state is a particular religion. However, and that religion believes crazy ass shit. But however, uh, they're also really safe and attractive too. Mormons are generally really attractive people. So, so um, guys, uh, Peach is going crazy. I'm gonna have to give her my full attention. Uh, we're gonna uh, continue. Uh, she's rolling around right now. She's like, ah. But uh, we'll continue with uh, Utah in tomorrow's class on Friday. I will finish Utah tomorrow. We'll go over Brigham Young, uh, Joseph Smith. Here, just lay on the computer. It's warm. Just lay up there. You can lay up there. It's fine. Um, also, uh, you know, I've been meaning to do some more uh, gardening streams. I want you guys to see the cat sanctuary I'm building. Um, well, it's fun to take care of peaches. Yeah, um, I got a handful here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching the stream. Um, we're going to continue with class every day. Uh, if you're watching on Can YouTube, shout out to uh, my YouTube viewers. Shout out to Lita. Uh, Aloha. I'm sorry you can't watch it live. We'll, we'll be back. Uh, you'll be back live with us soon, though. And uh, I'm going to do some more, um, a lot of uh, surprises here. Uh, things are looking really good for us, guys. Uh, we really got a lot of great things happening with us and the CATs, um, building a huge cat sanctuary, a huge garden, and we're really making a difference, you know, the GX difference. We're really doing that, and uh, as long as I'm alive, I'll continue doing that, and when I'm long gone, I hope to pass on uh, those same uh, beliefs and skills and uh, ideas and uh, overall of doing things to other people. I hope I, I rub a, a little bit of what I do, uh, helping people, helping cats. Uh, I hope that rubs off on others. So when I'm long and gone, uh, you know, the world is still continuing to be a better place. So um, everybody, uh, if you just put your hands together, we're going to say a quick prayer. 
the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Dear Lord, please bless everybody in the stream. Please bless my CATs. Please bless Moses. Please bless Tiano. Please bless little Peachy and make her not so horny please god watch over us thank you for everything that you've given us please watch over the people that care about me in the stream and the cats please watch over lita please watch over big block please watch over mrs j please watch over Muzza. please watch over maze please watch over detroit michigan please watch over nessa please watch over jimmy please watch over all the people that have cared about me and believed in me please watch over dominique please watch over my twin brother michael Please watch over all the people that want me to succeed because when I do succeed, it's going to be to help others. It's going to be to help cats. It's going to be to make the world a better place. So thank you, Lord, for giving me this opportunity to teach people. Thank you for everybody that is watching. Please bless the real ones. Please bless the good ones. And please send us either your son Christ or aliens or somebody to help us, Lord, and, and help, help all the good people in the world. Thank you for everything you've given us. Please bless all the real ones and all the people that care about us. We're trying to make the world a better place. Thank you for the opportunity for the cat sanctuary. Thank you for the opportunity for the garden. Thank you for this opportunity. Please bless me and watch over and protect me. There's a lot of evil people, enemies out there that want to hurt me, that want to hurt the cats. Please bless us, watch over us. Make sure that nobody hurts us, nobody hurts our cats. And watch over us and make sure that we strive and continue to do good and spread good around and fight the battle against evil people and evil in the world. Thank you for everything you've given us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I love you, God. Thank you for everything you've given us. You're making us very strong and very proud. Thank you very much. And Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Please bless us and bless our GX community. Thank you, God, the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, that was a good prayer there. I've reached out to all of you guys, and um, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, thanks for being here. Class tomorrow, last class of the week. Uh, everybody show up uh, on time, 3 o'clock Hawaii time, and uh, we'll make it a good class for you guys. Thanks again, and I hope all of you uh, take care and are safe, sound, and uh, snuggled with your warm ones. So uh, I'll go out, and you can uh, t and you can look at Peach's acrobatics there. Peace out, MRG. Nightman. Said, help Mr. G with the donation through Stream Elements. HTTPS colon slash slash streamelements.com slash MRG underscore live slash gift. Peach, you're going crazy. Peach, we're going to get you fixed. Don't worry. No worries. All right, guys. Everybody have a good night.